Wij gaan nu kijken naar het interview met Filemon en Tadashi. Well, Tadashi, it's so good to finally meet you. I've been following you guys at Reach Records for years now, ever since the sold-out record of uh, Lecrae. Yeah. Um, so it's great finally talking to you. So I, I wanted to, to start with Reach Records. Can you explain the success of Reach Records? I think Reach has seen successful for reasons other than what we may call success. I mean, granted, God is blessed and we've been able to um, have exposure. And what we what we started out from a small platform is grew to an even larger platform. And I think that's, that's amazing. Uh, but I think one of the biggest things that we find successful is um, just the fact that we see a movement happening far beyond anything that we, you know, uh, one, started to envision, but two, uh, whatever I think we would have we would have accomplished. And, and it just kind of humbles us to know, you know, God is doing this and, and not us. With this being a movement, I think there's an authenticity to it. I think people are genuinely in love with Jesus and they're genuinely encouraged by the music we make. So I think hand in hand, uh, those things go together well enough. So is Reach Records a record company first or a movement first? What is it first? <laughs> Uh, well, Reach Records, I think, is a record company uh, first, but I think from that it came about as a movement. Uh, 116 is, 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 I think, how you would better define the movement, but I think Reach Records is a is a, a part of that that whole animal. So. I used to Jack Daniels chase Bloody Mary. I never touched the verges, now they too scary. And then me you die since the day of my birth. Now I'm a walking straight billboard, I'm my thirst. So the I'm not ashamed, that's like the movement. Right, right, right. Reach Records is definitely uh, the label of a movement, but I think the movement is bigger than just the label. Um, it's I think it's bigger than the music. That we produce this process of loving God and loving one another. I write to tell the truth, don't write to save face. Born in H time, got the words to save face. Christian means that when I eat the beat, I save my grace. If only At, after you After we get to travel and meet people, hear their testimonies, and kind of hear how God is really uh, tr transforming their lives, you begin to recognize, that God, you're doing something bigger than what we could have ever envisioned from just a rap song. So. Some think we're a mess. Some calling us blessed. A mic in a stage will always equal success. Sometimes a bigger platform only brings stress. I watch my life in doctrine and pray for the best. The latest success of Reach Record is the release of your record. It was uh, number two on iTunes, above Nicki Minaj, above Jada Kiss. Yeah. Um, did you expect that success of Backlight? Uh, I did not. Uh, <laughs> man, when I first. Uh, started working on my album. I wanted to try to talk about something that that was maybe mentioned, but not really dealt with from a main subject standpoint. Uh, and anytime you you start talking about something that's not the popular conversation, uh, you don't really get a lot of people peering in and checking it out. Uh, and so I didn't expect that at all. What I expected was for the people who have always kind of been a part of what we do to appreciate growth in music and to appreciate the message. Uh, but I had no idea that God would, would bless it the way he had. Uh, and I say bless it because uh, for for it to achieve those numbers only means that there are, are more in the movement and that there are those being exposed to what God is doing through the music. So, um, man, it, it was a mind blowing thing. I didn't expect it at all, so. I saw a comment on iTunes about someone uh, that didn't believe and he said like, I'm not a believer. Uh, but but I love the album. What do you think about those responses? Man, that's uh, that's actually pretty tight to me. Uh, it's pretty cool. I I definitely make music that sounds quality enough to where uh, if the love of the Lord didn't draw you to it, you'd still be able to appreciate it sonically, artistically. Uh, and so to hear that um, encourages me because I think at the end of the day, quality art glorifies the Lord. So when you look at Black Light, what's your favorite song right now on the album? Uh, it changes, it changes. Uh, right now, I think uh, That'll Be The Day is, is my favorite joint. Um, it, it just really does encourage me to think through a song, to listen to a song that not only tells me I'm going to be in heaven, but just encourages me. Uh, one line from the song that really blesses me is in the chorus, and it says, um, no sin, just God forever. Um, and that's huge for me because I know a lot of people live their day-to-day -day lives fighting sin, 
and never really being encouraged by the fact that one day we will never have to fight fight sin again. Let's talk about some personal stuff. Okay. When you look at yourself, um, how would you describe yourself as a person? When I look at myself, I describe myself as a person who is uh, struggling well, but still in a battle, who is um, loving, uh, but selfish, and who is uh, a restored image bearer who constantly wrestles with image and identity. You came to Christ when you were in college. <clears throat> yep, yep. What attracted you to the gospel? It was the boldness of the brother who was sharing it, and it was the fact that God, through many different situations, showed me my flaws. Um, I thought I was invincible, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, and I was young, I was Superman. strong. Yeah I, yeah, I thought I was Superman. <laughs> Um, I, I was young, I, I was strong, I, you know, I'm, uh, I, I just, I had a lot of arrogant, uh, narcissistic views of life and uh, God humbled me. And in humbling me, he also showed me a guy who was bold for him. Um, and where I come from, it's cool to believe in God, but you don't really talk about it. Uh, and so for him to have that boldness, that really humbled me, that really encouraged me and it really challenged me. So I. I basically was like, yo, I, I get it, God, I get it.